Come on, Joba. Hello, my name is Thomas. For almost a year now, I have been living here in Uday village in the Republic of Georgia, between Russia and Turkey in the Greater Caucasus Mountains, as part of my work here with First Things Foundation, an American nonprofit whose model it essentially is to send people like me to some of the most challenging regions in the world in order to locate and represent entrepreneurial folk who may not have access to certain resources or educational benefits. A little bit more about myself before coming to First Things Foundation. I was an infantryman in the United States Marine Corps for six years. I love motorcycles and other tactile things. Um, I'm also a woodcarver. But this video is not about me. This video is about the Metabishvili family, the Georgian family which has been hosting me now uh, here in the village for the past 10 months. The Metabishvili's are an amazingly kind, hospitable, and hardworking family who, like many families across Georgia, fell on hard times following the collapse of the Soviet Union. They were forced to sell off most of their farm in order to survive, and since then things have been very difficult, to say the least. It's our hope, my hope here, to maybe give something back to these people who have given so much for me and taught me more than I expected to learn about what it means to be a human being. Um, and one of the ways that I hope to help do this is through the creation of a mid-scale local poultry farm here in the village on the family's land. Um, Nana Merubishvili, the, the matriarch of the family, has been the main driver behind the idea for this project, which we hope will not only allow the family to help itself back up onto its feet, but also provide employment opportunities for some of the people here in the village, many of whom, for various reasons, including disability, are not able to hold down a job. Additionally, we hope that the produce from this farm will help to meet the nutritional needs of some of our younger families here in the village, many of whom are dependent on low-quality processed and imported food. Uh, a little bit more about Nana. She is the mother of three. She worked as the administrator of a chicken farm for 10 years, currently owns 40 hens, and has lived and worked with chickens her entire life. Um, for these reasons, and also just from what I have personally observed living and, and working with her, I have complete faith and confidence in her ability to professionally manage and carry this project forward into the future, provided we are able to move the initial resources toward her. Uh, her husband, Golgita, is an incredibly supportive, hardworking, and talented man, uh, an especially talented musician, especially with the accordion. Um, he's also an educated man, however, he is currently working a low-wage construction job, um, pouring cement. Uh, we hope, however, and he hopes as soon as financially possible, to shift his professional talents and attention to this project. Their son, uh, Borya, is, like his father, also incredibly talented and hardworking. Um, and is also dedicated to the to the uh, the realization of this project. Um, to that end, our greatest initial hurdle will be the acquisition of an incubator for the eggs, as well as a power generator, as the the winters here uh, are often quite harsh and electricity is not always dependable. Um, we have a source for these items. However, we will require around two thousand United States dollars in order to make the initial purchase. However, I believe once these items are in our possession, everything else will naturally fall into place. If any of this sounds interesting to you, please follow our progress, um, or if you would like to help in any way, whether financially or with advice, um, or even if you would like to come and see what we're doing, what we're all about, please contact us. Thank you and God bless.